to me and is, where are y'all? I just found the card that the exclaimer left. He took home Air Alexa. Aaron, I just found Robo Taminus and they are powered down. Someone must have disabled them remotely. Wait, what? How do I know it wasn't you? Well, I figured you would be hesitant to trust me. So I did some research and found the location this Mr. Exclaimer ordered me from. I also found a list of his most recent credit card transactions, which included KY Jelly and a slip and slide for some reason. Oh, really? I know exactly what he's going to use that for. What is it going to be used for? Huh? Um, what? Uh, I actually don't really, don't really know. But you know what? That doesn't even matter. Let's work on getting the exact location of where the girls are. And you know what? This time, I need to bring the fight to him. You mean we? You're not alone in this. <sighs> no. Mayor Stacy, I truly appreciate the gesture of unity, but you are the new mayor of LJV. You need to stay here and look after the town, look after the residents for me. I mean, you know, just in case I, uh, I vanish like the others and I don't make it back. You're mighty brave, Aaron. Mighty charming of you. Hey, just to clarify, okay, when you say charming, do you mean that in like a, like a cute type way? Okay, okay, no, 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 no. We need to focus on saving the girls, okay? But listen, I'm just going to have to do this one all alone. Uh, hey, Mayor Stacy, do you hear that? Do you hear that rock montage music? Sec Dexy, sick intro, but I didn't realize you were still here. But I see you're you sleep you sleeping behind the Funko Pops. Anyway, what do you got there? Wow, this is probably the cutest thing I've ever seen. You you painted this? Huh? See, all this time I just thought she forced you to be her boyfriend in that Candice LeRae intro video, but. I think you might actually love her. Like, do you, Dexy? Do you love Diva Marie? Oh! <laughs> Dexy, that's what I'm talking about. That's amazing. She's had like 30 boyfriends, but she finally found one that worked. It's amazing. I feel the love in the air. And I actually feel an extra, extra love connection here. Mayor Stacy, do you feel what I'm feeling? I feel that love in the air. And it's real strong right here. Me and you. Uh... Uh, speechless, huh? Mayor Stacy, I think I, uh, I got, got you speechless, but you know, that's, that's fine. It's fine. I'm cool. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Cause you know what? At least I don't have to be all by myself in this final battle. I got my man Dexy with me. Let's go. I'll repair Robo Taminus while you're gone. I have a master's degree in engineering and robotics, so I should be able to get them up and running. Oh, Mayor Stacy, you are so smart. And like I said before, we're really... Really not used to that much around here. But uh, hey, before Dexy and I head out on our final rescue mission, I'm actually going to review AEW Unmatched Series 4 Jade Cargill. We still have a lot of plotting to do, so I figured, hey, before we strategize here, I review the Jade figure, and then Dexy and I, we go and save our baddie section. Well, I guess his baddie section, because he's, he's dating Diva Marie and he's saving Diva Marie, and... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not date. That was just, just, it was just Tamina. I'm actually not dating come air Alexa. You know, I, we're not, we're not together or anything. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm single kind of like, you know, we're not really a thing. Come air Alexa. Nah. You, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna ding dong. Oh, there's my figures arrived. I gotta, gotta review this. Yeah. You need a.
welcome to Lumber Joeville. Women's wrestling lives here. Now before we start, I want to remind you to hit that thumbs up. Make sure to like this video. Also subscribe to Lumber Joeville for a first look at all future women's wrestling figures. And yeah, I am super, super excited to review Jade Cargill from AEW Unmatched Series 4. I've been waiting for this figure. I've been seeing a lot of people get theirs online, and I just couldn't wait. So I finally have it in hand. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this figure, starting with the packaging. Alright, so starting off with the packaging here, anyone that watches the channel knows that I absolutely adore this AEW Unrivaled and Unmatched packaging. I think there's nothing that compares to it out there. I think it's absolutely beautiful, it's gorgeous, I think it's so classy, all the above. I just love it. So much so that I'm really not an MOC collector, but when I order these AEW women's figures, I make sure to get at least one extra to keep MOC. So I'm trying to build my MOC collection, and I'm only missing the chases as far as the women go. But either way, I will never sell my MOC AEW women's figures because I just think they look great in packaging. And Jade here is no different. I mean, she looks awesome here. Now we have the unmatched color scheme here, which has the silver at the top. And then we have that blue backdrop inside. We have Jade Cargill written in the silver on the side. We have her image on the front, the beautiful Jade. On the side, we have that image there. She's number 28 in Series 4. On the other side, we have the AEW logo. And then here's here's an issue here, okay? So, you know, I didn't get my Jade as fast as I usually do. So I got to see a lot of other people unbox it and whatnot. And something that I noticed watching those videos is her autograph, her signature on the back, it looks like absolute dog crap okay and it's not jade it's not jade's fault so you know obviously they're not actually autographed it's like screen printed auto but someone said on a message board someone said something that it looks like when you're signing you know at, at the grocery store something signing your credit card and not all of it shows up that's what it looks like and it does it looks like crap so i don't know how that made it past um you know the production here because it it doesn't look good at all i don't understand why they let that pass and another big complaint here is on the back you know we have jade's name and then we have what the attire's from and that's wrong that attire is not from aw rampage on august 20th 2021 it's not i mean she wore this gold attire quite a bit and i'll talk about it in the next segment here i'll tell you the attire that i noticed it from that was kind of a big moment for her and mark sterling's careers but yeah that that attire and this isn't the first time that they've messed up the date as to what the attire is from so that's a bit of a head scratcher i don't know how that gets through because there are people that are hired to do this thing and i don't know how the research doesn't go there but Anyway, so that bothers me that the date's wrong and also that crappy signature. But hey, we got the beautiful bombshell Jade Cargill in all her glory on the back. And I think that's awesome. So what we're going to do here is we're going to unbox it. And I always massacre the boxes like bad. I don't mean to. But we're going to try something different here. Okay. So I've had some people say if you go from the bottom. So we cut that tape. Okay. So there's just one tape thing to cut. Oh, I think we might be able to do this, y'all. And then, obviously, it's still uh, adhered to the cardboard. So, we need to kind of peel it. It's not... You know what? Alright, you know what? I think I'm going to have to massacre the box. Yep, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. We had to massacre the box. We had to do it. Alright, let me get this figure out. AEW Unmatched Series 4 Jade Cargill. Now this attire has been worn on multiple occasions, but a significant night that I found was on May 10th, 2021 on an episode of AEW Dark Elevation where Jade would defeat Rekka Tehaka. Now this is also notable because it's when Mark Sterling came out and offered his services to Jade. Alright, some overall first impressions of this figure. I mean, wow. I'm blown away, and that says something because I've seen images of this figure through other people getting theirs, and also the proto images, and they all looked amazing. But having it in hand in front of me, it's even better, and I didn't expect that. I mean, I expected it to be good, but this figure goes beyond that. It is great. I mean, it does look like a shrunken down version of Jade. Jade is very strong, has a great physique, and beautiful, and they capture that in figure form. And it's it's insane, honestly. I mean, I'm I'm almost speechless, right? Like this figure is tremendous. Now, as far as accessories go, the only extra accessories that she comes with are extra hands, which are in the fist pose there. 
And that's nice, but it is kind of disappointing we didn't get other accessories, especially if you look at the other figures in the line. Uh, I mean, Hangman Page, for example, comes with multiple, multiple glasses in a picture. It's, it's kind of crazy, so I wish Jade would have came with a little more. But the figure itself, I mean, let's take a closer look at this thing. All right, so as I just mentioned, Jade is a very beautiful woman. She has a very unique look, and they captured that here perfectly, honestly. I mean, looking at the face scan, face sculpt, and hair, I love it. I love almost everything about it. It's tremendous here. And what I really love about it is anytime we get some kind of emotion or expression in the face of a women's wrestling figure, I love that because we don't get that a whole lot. Okay, and here we get the nice heel arrogant look from Jade and they capture that so perfectly and we'll get into it in articulation, but not just with the eyebrow raise, but you can even kind of tilt her head up, put her chin up and make her look real arrogant. And I love that. I absolutely love that. But taking a closer look at the scan and the sculpt, I mean, truth being told, I did get two jades. I always open the better one to review, but I sat there for about 10 minutes and looked at both of my jades and I couldn't figure out which one was better because they both looked amazing. And that says a lot. Sometimes these scans can be printed on a little off, but both of mine were printed on with perfection here. And the scan is excellent with that little raised eyebrow on the right side. If you look close, she has eyelashes that are printed on there. Her lips are real full and red and look awesome. They really did good on the face sculpt itself, really having your cheekbones stand out. And then her hair sculpt is unique, unique to her. Ooh, looks like it has a little, little smudge. Okay, that comes off. But that hair is a white color, which actually works. I always complain about the women's wrestling figure hair colors, how it's just one color, one solid color. But here it works because the hair was just a, a plain white, right? So it does work here. But, I mean, everything about this face sculpt, face scan, and hair is just, it's, it's near perfection to me. I mean, the only thing I could maybe add is, you know, she does have a little bit of eyeshadow in the scan, but like even looking at the box, it's it's a little heavy application of eyeshadow, so they probably could have applied it a little heavier, but either way, I mean, that's so nitpicky because this just looks gorgeous. It looks good, almost perfect. All right, so moving on down to the body sculpt and the attire, and this figure continues to be awesome. I mean, that's one thing I really praise AEW and Jazzwares for doing with their women's wrestling figures is most of them have their very own unique body molds, not a whole lot of reuse of parts, and when they are reused, it makes sense. But here we get a completely unique sculpt for Jade, and it is perfect. I mean, Jade has a very strong, muscular physique, and they nailed it here, honestly. So the one thing I am going to say before we take a closer look is the attire is the only thing that I wouldn't say is bad about the figure, but the only thing that I think they missed a little bit. So this attire is representing a gold attire, and it actually does look metallic on camera. Let me turn off this light. It still looks metallic, but in person, it is not a metallic gold. It's a matte gold. Now I am colorblind, so take that for a grain of salt, but it actually comes out on camera looking metallic. I, I, I promise you it's like a matte colored gold, and I really think they missed the opportunity there to use a metallic gold, because if you look at the attire in real life, it's almost like a reflective gold, and I think that really would have benefited this figure, so that's the only thing that I would change about this attire, honestly. Um, okay, but starting with the top here, we have a uniquely sculpted top piece that goes around the back. We have nice paint detail on the back, having the little rivets there. And moving on down to the bottoms, these are sculpted bottoms here that go all the way around. Um, yes, she has very muscular physique. Um... The glutes are very muscular there. They do a good job there. I don't mean that in a weird way, but I'm just saying, you know, they really made this figure as accurate as they could in figure form, really. Um, even on down to her legs, her legs are jacked, and that's something we really haven't seen as far as the women's figures go in the AEW figures, so that's really nice. Her knee pads have the gold painted on with that J logo. The boots are in... Once again, they're not metallic. They're kind of like a matte gold color with that J logo on the side. But even the boots have a lot of unique sculpting and detail in that, and it's tremendous. Also, what's really cool is her arms are pretty muscular, and that's so, so awesome. I mean, even looking at her back, her back is muscular. So, 
Honestly, in my opinion, uh, they knocked it out of the park as far as the body sculpt. Part choices and everything from the head down. I mean, I think that's tremendous. They did an amazing job here. And even the attire looks really cool. But that's the one thing that in person, it's a little disappointing because the gold that they went with is like a matte color. It's almost like a caramel color gold. And it's not reflective. It's not shiny. And they really could have benefited by using metallic gold paint there. All right, now let's cover articulation. And these AEW Women's Jazz Wars figures always have really good articulation, but this one's probably the best. Now, I'm going to show you why, starting off here with that head. So she can look right really well, look left really well. She's on a ball joint, so she can go in all different directions. But she can also look down, like, better than any of my women's wrestling figures. And how amazing is that for, like, fig photography and stuff? I mean, she can look down tremendously. And what's really cool, she can even look up a little higher than a lot of my women's wrestling figures. And putting her chin up like that really gives her that arrogant, cocky um, attitude in figure form. And I think that is so cool. Now, obviously, she has all that range of motion because that hair allows it. And a lot of times when the hair is longer, it really inhibits the range of motion as far as the women's figures go with that head and neck. So, yeah, I mean, that that's tremendous. Now, moving on to the shoulder. You know, just like all the AEW Jazz Wars figures, they kind of lock into place. You can kind of feel it rivet a little bit. And even though this one feels a little loose, you can still feel it lock into place and it feels nice and sturdy. She has double jointed elbows. She can really flex, really pose. That wrist can swivel. It can also extend and flex. She has that upper torso movement where she can go in all different directions. I mean, that's pretty tremendous. She can really extend back. She can really flex forward. She can side bend really well. The waist, she can spin. The hip is on a ball joint, can go in all different directions here. I will say it's a little inhibited going back, and that's because of that glute sculpt there. Now, the upper thigh here has a little bit of a swivel there. The knee is double jointed and isn't inhibited at all by those knee pads, so great work there. And the boot has a little bit of a swivel at the top, and the foot can plantar flex down and dorsiflex. And yeah, you can almost hear it kind of click into place with each setting, and that really adds stability to stability to these figures so i love that so i mean as far as range of motion goes like i can't wait to do fig photography with this figure because this might be the best uh range of motion of all my women's wrestling figures in my collection honestly i mean i really am looking forward to seeing all the cool poses that i can take pictures in and post them on instagram so yeah articulation tremendous all right, so this part of the video, I usually do a little comparison between some of the other figure releases of that superstar, but this is Jade's first in the line figure, so there's no other Jade figures to compare it to. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get many more in the future, especially seeing how toyetic this figure is. But I did want to do a little scale comparison. So Jade is listed as five foot ten, which is pretty tall. Thunder Rosa is listed at five foot three. And it seems about right. Jade maybe could be a little taller, honestly. But here's the thing with women's wrestling figures. If we're talking Mattel, we're talking Jazzwares, they're just not in scale and they haven't been for some time. Very rarely are they sized how they should be. But I think this Jade is probably the best job that Mattel or Jazzwares has done in recent memory. Because looking up, I have an AEW women's shelf, and looking at all those figures, they're all pretty much the same height. I didn't realize it before until I had them all on a shelf next to each other. But Jade is a little taller than all of them, so it definitely works out. And like I said, the scale isn't perfect, but I mean, it's, it's pretty darn close. And they did a tremendous job as far as getting her stature and her physique down, so that's really what matters in my opinion. And here's one last look at AEW Unmatched Series 4. Jade Cargill. So overall, I give AEW Unmatched Series 4 Jade Cargill an overall score of a 9.5 out of 10. This figure is pretty darn close to flawless. The only thing that took some points off is the color of the attire. And I don't know how well it came across on video, but this attire is a pretty dull gold color, almost like a caramel brown. And it should be gold. And the fact that they didn't use metallic paint, it's like, oh, if they used a metallic gold paint on that attire, this would be a perfect 10 figure, if not higher. Now, is this figure in contention for LJV figure of the year for 2022? Uh, absolutely. I mean, don't get me wrong. This figure is 
amazing and it's such a good representation of jade everything from the hair the face the body sculpt i mean it's it's tremendous it's a work of art if you're having any hesitations to ordering this figure do it i would highly suggest you do it it's an amazing figure so before we do the outro i just wanted to briefly say something i didn't say earlier in the video and that's that aew and jazzwares is absolutely killing it as far as their women's wrestling figures go you know when they first started the line out that was a big complaint that brandy was the first and only woman in the first few lines and since then they've picked it up and you know i've said in my reviews that they've improved along the way so bravo to jazzwares bravo to aew because their women's wrestling figures are really starting to compete if not overtake mattel's now, with that being said, thank you for stopping by Lumber Joeville. Women's Wrestling lives here. For a first look at all women's wrestling figure reviews, make sure to hit subscribe and become an official resident of LJV today. Also, if you like today's video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and like the video. Head on over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use discount code LJV to save 10% on your next order. And head over to prowrestlingtees.com slash LJV. I have a new Liv Morgan inspired celebration shirt, so make sure to check that out. Now with all those plugs out of the way, I hope y'all have a great night.